Good morning, Jim Lurkey, owner of Safety Connections. My blurb for the week is the common challenges of leadership today. Reflecting back on my first role as a supervisor when I was promoted, uh, felt totally unprepared and didn't know really what I was taking on, okay? Suddenly, as a whole group of people looking at me for guidance, I realized that my peers and friends now saw me as like the boss, if you will. Not really what I liked, but that was the reality. So carefully thought through plans seemed unrealistic. Worried, I was asking too much of people and not enough of others. So feedback was critical, leading was critical, and why do I do what I do? I think just trying to make a difference, losing three kids in my lifetime, wanting to do an outreach to make a difference on dealing with people, getting results, making things happen as a leader. And that's what motivates me. So at least you understand my purpose, because sometimes I'll ask that, be asked that question, why do you do this, Jim? Trying to help others like this. So that's the reason. So didn't like the idea, didn't like to be thought of as the boss, if you will. And yet we need to be able to be supportive. We needed to be able to be, uh, be able to get the information back. We needed to build trust. So here's some of the things that at least I found. As a leader, one of the biggest single things was providing an inspiration. Now, I know I hear it all the time about, you know, the rah-rah or whatever. It's me, okay? That's me. And anybody can talk to that knows me knows it's I'm all about the heart and soul, okay? So... It's true, it's believing, it's, it's always, you know, matter of fact, but personal, making it personal. So, uh, very important inspiration, that good morning, that look in a person in the eye, okay? When you say good morning with meaning, okay? Not walking by with your head down saying good morning. No, it's looking at people with meaning, okay? So, it's intended to also inspire others instead of the doom and gloom, if you will. Uh, what else did I want to say? I want to say that uh, in large part, it's developing others. Key part of the role is building your talent and employee development into making, coaching, mentoring people to be the best they can be. Is that not really what it's all about? And you do it in a way with enthusiasm and inspiration and simply making it happen. And part of that, by the way, one of my biggest lessons was the listening part. Listen to your people. Listen to your employees. Also, the other thing is leading change. Okay? Uh, that can be scary. A lot of people see it, see it all the time. Uh, and I see and hear all the uncertainty. Dealing with leadership, senior management. It's like, uh, I think one thing is the uncertainty, but then there's a flip side of that. Some people, all they want to do is change. Now, whether we're thinking about the consequence of the change, I'm not so sure, certain of that all the time. But I do know one thing. We should have freedoms to change. We should have the freedom and openness to accept change. And that's coaching and mentoring. All right? So there's a lot of challenges if you hear what I'm saying today. But I think the other thing is we as leaders need to validate our feelings for your team. All right? And convey that in a positive way. Okay? And I think in closing, we got to handle different perspectives in a way. All right? That's conflict or difference of opinion, but it's okay to agree to disagree. And also, always remember my number one, it's commitment. Uh, whoever you are, commit to doing what you're going to do and be consistent and uh, because commitment is doing what you say and what you say you do, period. That's the message for the week. Have a great week, everyone. Take care.